Coming up on Sports Weekly, the Aquinas Falcons baseball team, the only local team still on the hunt for a CIF Southern section title, reaching the D2 semifinals. Plus on the college diamond, Cal State San Bernardino continuing its historic season hosting a Division II West Regional at Fiscalini Field. Plus, how about some girls flag football, a spring champion crowned as Cajon took on Indian Springs in the title game. Plus, we'll head out to the Ken Hubs Awards, going to the top athletes in San Bernardino County. The awards being hosted by Indian Springs High School. And we will also hear from the California Boys Soccer State Coach of the Year, Adrian Villalobos. That and much more on this edition of Sports Weekly on IEMG. And it starts right now. What is up, everybody? Welcome to Sports Weekly on IEMG. I'm your host, Pep Fernandez. We appreciate you tuning in. And make sure you subscribe to the IE Media Group YouTube channel. Let's talk some local baseball right now. We'll start on the high school diamond. We had one team at the high school level still in the hunt for the CIF Southern Section title. The Aquinas Falcons making it all the way to the semifinals in Division II. The Falcons on their home field in San Bernardino taking on Crespi in the semis. It went to extra innings. And uh, Crespi holding on for a 5-3 to three victory to advance to the championship game. In fact, Crespi would win the entire thing. They would win the CIF title, but still a fantastic season for the Aquinas Falcons, one of the top teams um, in the Southern section, the number one team in Division II going into the playoffs. Great, great year for Aquinas baseball. All right, now to college baseball and Cal State San Bernardino continuing their historic season. Most wins in a season. First Division II Playoff win, I mean, all these records being broken by the Coyotes this season. They were uh, hosting the West Regional at Fiscalini Field with Western Oregon and Azusa Pacific. It boiled down to a three-game series with APU. First game of the series, APU uh, up 9-8. to eight. Bottom of the ninth inning, a two-run single wins it for Cal State San Bernardino. 10-9 the final score. So now we're going to fast forward to game two of the series. If the Coyotes would win game two, the series would be over. Well, Cal State would do exactly that. We fast forward to game two, and no doubt about this one, Cal State San Bernardino with a big lead on APU, 11-2 in the ninth inning. And here's the final out of the contest. Cal State wins the West Regional at Fiscalini Field as they advance to the Super Regional now. They will take on their old conference foe, Cal State Monterey Bay, on the road at Monterey Bay in a three-game series in the Super Regional later this weekend. So the historic season continues for Cal State San Bernardino Baseball. Congrats to Coach Mike Nato and the Coyotes on such a great, great year. And it's not done yet. All right, speaking of Cal State San Bernardino Baseball, He's one of the all-time greats who played at Fiscalini Field. Tyler Wells, a starting pitcher for the Baltimore Orioles. He is having his best season ever in the major leagues. And he's coming off maybe his best pitching outing ever for the Orioles. He went seven innings, no runs, eight strikeouts against the Pittsburgh Pirates. So Tyler Wells having a breakout season for the O's. Uh, after that win against Pittsburgh, he talked about his success this season and raising the standard, becoming a dominant starting pitcher for Baltimore. Well, besides two walks in the seventh, I would probably say it was my best one of my uh, major league career for sure. Um, you know, I felt like I had uh, good command. I felt like I kind of got everything uh, back in order for, you know, what I was struggling with the last couple starts. And obviously my defense, Santander, I mean, I, I can't say enough about that catch. Obviously I was pumped up, um, you know, but everyone else out there was just making great plays. And, um, you know, overall, like, 
I just think that it instilled a lot of confidence in me to be able to just go out there and do my job and know that uh, even if I do give up some contact, like I know that I got a great group of defenders back there to, uh, you know, protect me. I mean, for me, I don't even think it's so much about health as much as it is my standard. Um, you know, I, I feel like uh, I hold myself to a very high standard and, um, you know, and I know that all the other starters, all the other players in this clubhouse hold each other to a very high standard as well. And I mean, I'm not going to dismiss like, you know, seeing what Bradish did last night, um, seeing what Dean did the other night, like, and seeing what they did in Atlanta, you know, we're always pushing each other. And um, I think that we're all kind of feeding off of each other right now. We're just trying to push each other to be the very best, you know, I, and, you know, feeling good is, you know, a benefit, but I don't think that that's what's making me, you know, feel really good right now as far as like my outings go. I think that it's the constant, uh, you know, competition between each other. Congrats to Tyler Wells. Have been a big, big fan of his for a long time now. All right, we come back here on Sports Weekly on IEMG. We'll have some girls' flag of football highlights, a champion crowned here in the city of San Bernardino this spring. We'll be right back on Sports Weekly on IEMG.